This is a Cadillac CTS with a 2.8 liter engine, also 3.6 is the same, more than one cylinder is misfire in this case. I'm gonna remove the intake manifold, but you don't have to, you're only gonna be checking like ignition coil plugs or power plugs, you, you can only go around and take them out. But in my case, we want to check if the upper intake manifold gasket is doing good or not. It depends on how it looks, we're gonna replace it or maybe not. Also, I don't know if the ignition coil plugs or spark plugs or, or the problems in the wire or either the injectors. I don't know what the problem is, so I'll, I'll remove the intake manifold. It's very easy, so let's see. All right, I have live data here on my scanner. As you can see, cylinder number five is misfiring. That's the counting right there. Alright, so I can see right now only cylinder number 5, but it seems like uh, cylinder number 6 also misfiring a little bit. Maybe not at this moment, but maybe that's why it has that code P0300. Multiple cylinder misfiring, more than one. It's shaking really bad. Alright, I'm gonna be taking these horses out of here. The connector for the throttle body is on this side here. Ten millimeter nut here. I mean, it was a bolt, not a nut. Another ten millimeter bolt here, and another one on this side here. Also, it's ten millimeter bolt. I'm gonna recommend one of these wrenches here. These are 13 millimeter bolt here. Alright, the other one here, 13 millimeter bolt. Alright, this bracket here is held by a 17 millimeter bolt here, here beneath. Now once you uncover here, just make sure you cover here with something, a piece of rags or anything, immediately so no garbage will go inside there. Alright, and this is the firing order here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Alright, and the next step here, I'm going to be checking the ignition coil pack, and also the spark plug. This is cylinder number 5, this one is the is misfiring really bad. Also number six, but this one is the worst one. So to disconnect this one, you just push it up from here, push it and pull this step out all the way out and pull out the connector. And now check the pins here, as you can see, the connections, everything looks good, nothing is corroded. Also check the wires here, everything looks good so far here. Now this is how the connector looks, the 10 millimeter bolt here. Cadillac does not have a way to test this ignition coil box. I just checked my software and there is no way to test this one, so otherwise I would. So in this case, what you should do is interchange this one with one of these ones here. And also, you gotta check the spark plug, I gotta check it anyway. The injector for the cylinders, the arm is firing, also are suspected components in this case. Alright, I marked the ignition coil pack here, the suspected one here. 
and I'm gonna be interchanging it with this one here. Are you ready disconnected? I'm not gonna be uh, interchanging the spark plug at this, at this point because since this one is not misfiring, I'm gonna just uh, test the ignition coil packs right now. All right, I took out the spark plug as you can see and this spark plug does not look bad at all. See the center electrode right there? Looks very good. It doesn't look worn out or anything like that. It looks good. So I'm gonna put the, this spark plug back there All right, this is the one that was on number five, as you can see. This is my, my spark tester here, and I'm gonna be testing the one that is not misfiring yet. The reason is because I want to, co to compare the spark from this one to the suspected one here. So that's the only reason I'm gonna be checking this one first. Now to do what I'm doing here, you don't need to remove the intake manifold. I removed it because I want to check the, the upper intake manifold gasket. If it's bad, I will replace it. If not, I will leave it. At the same time, if the injectors are the problem, then the intake manifold has to be removed. Next step, we come here inside the vehicle, as you can see, and the rear passenger side. That's the fuse box, and we're gonna take out the fuse for the fuel pump. And this is the fuse here, 20M fuse, as you can see. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank, I'm gonna crank the engine, and I'm gonna see if there is spark coming out of the, the ignition coil pack. All right, and I can see that there is spark here, so no problem with that ignition coil pack and everything. All right, and this is the suspected ignition coil pack here. I already connected my tester to it, and I put some electrical tape here because I don't want my tester to come out of the ignition coil pack once I'm cranking the engine. And I hope the ignition coil packs are the problem so I don't have to be testing any injectors or wires or anything like that. So let's see. All right, after seeing this ignition coil pack, not to spark at all, there is a problem with this ignition coil pack. When you are in this situation like this and you see that there is no spark on one of them and the one you're testing, then do it one more time just in case uh, to get a, another angle from a camera. Sometimes the angle has a lot to do. I'm almost certain that this ignition coil pack is not good, it's damaged, but I'm gonna do it one more time. In this case, since this one here that was here on this one and the, and the suspected one was doing the job, there was no misfire at all on this one with this ignition coil pack. So I don't have to be testing the wires and in this case. So I'm gonna do this a second time. All right, as you can see, the ignition coil pack is the problem. This ignition coil pack isn't sparking at all. It's not firing at all. And the wires are good because I already explained why the wires are good. And I'm gonna be doing the same test on cylinder, on cylinder number six on the ignition coil pack. So I'm not gonna be show that on camera because it's exactly the same, but if something new comes out, I'll show it on camera. This is a tip, basically. See how sunny right there it is? It's so bright because it's so sunny at this moment. Uh, if the sunlight is hitting where you're trying to see spark, the camera is gonna have a hard time uh, seeing the spark, even if the spark is coming out. Now, this way it will be easier for the camera to see if any spark is coming out. But if the camera is in a, in a spot where it is so sunny like it is right there, you're not gonna be able to spark at all or maybe a little bit and that might give you better results because you're gonna, you might think something different compared to the result. It doesn't look good at all, but I don't care about that. I, I care about getting a better result here. See the difference right there? And this way, the camera will have more difficulties seeing the spark even if you have a spark. The new ignition coil pack here, I'm gonna be installing on cylinder number six. I mean a five and also a number six. We got two of them. Part number, T-Series. All right, in this case, I won't be replacing the spark plugs. Why is that? Because the owner of the vehicle replaced all of them two weeks ago since the engine started shaking. I did not know that until I found out that the spark plugs look, uh, look brand new. 
Now I said at the beginning I wanted to take a look at the upper intake manifold gasket, how it looked like, but this one looks in great condition, very good condition, so I'll leave the same one here. That's the ignition coil pack and cylinder number 5. And this is on cylinder number 6 right here, it's brand new. Now I forgot to show, always put uh, some dielectric grease on the tap of the ignition coil packs, always do that. Before installing the intake manifold again, just make sure you clean here the surface beneath the intake manifold gasket. And also make sure you clean the, the surface of the intake manifold too. Make sure you don't scratch the surface beneath the intake manifold. And we put this bolt here. Make sure you don't drag this over the intake manifold gasket and because otherwise you're gonna get the, the gasket out of place. This bolt here, make sure you put your hand beneath and keep the bolt on top as much as you can because otherwise this bolt uh, interfere with the intake manifold, I mean with the gasket right there, the intake manifold gasket. It might move the gasket out of place so be careful with it. Alright, and here is the torque specification for all the bolts I have removed here. And you can torque the spark plugs between 13 and 15 foot pounds. I use this wrench here to tighten this one here. 10 millimeter wrench here. Make sure everything is connected. That's the throttle body right there. Everything is tied. There are two connectors here. This one and another one a little bit inside. So make sure you connect them. And right now I'm going to be turning on the engine and see if the engine is still shaking or it's good. I have not turned it on. I like to do this in the front of the camera. No spark plug, no wires, no, no injector problems. So I found the problems on, on the ignition coil packs according to me. So let's see. It's running very smoothly with no problem. It was shaking so bad before, now it's running so smooth. So everything is good. Thanks for watching this video and God bless you all.